it's Jonathan with Curto's Ring of Fire in Westchester County. Welcome to another outdoor kitchen analysis video. This is going to be a, uh, uh, an analysis of a recently completed project in Westchester County. I think it's a good, um, it's a good project to take a look at and will hopefully assist you with whatever plans that you are considering. This outdoor kitchen looks very, very reminiscent of one that we have on our uh, site, on our gallery. It's, uh, that was done in Scarsdale about a year plus ago. Um, that outdoor kitchen is the most popular one that is viewed on our gallery. It is uh, one that is the most asked about when folks come into the showroom. And um, I'm not saying that these new customers flat out copy them, but I sense that there may have been a degree of inspiration when looking at the first build out. So let's, uh, let's take a look at this. This island, if I'm not mistaken, and again, I, I usually rock these without any notes. <clears throat> so um, the island's 10 and a half feet. So moving from the left to the right, we have a Lynx trash draw, okay, which has a handle on it, unlike the other components, you'll notice. Um, then we move over to the grill which is going to be a Lynx 42TR, I believe, 42-inch gas grill with their door draw combo underneath with the Vantana handles, which are, um, they aren't the handle. You gotta actually press them to have the thing click out the pull them. Um, and then uh, moving to the uh, right, we have the piece de resistance, uh, the Primo grill, which is an XL, extra large, with a Lynx Ventana, Ventana uh, single draw for storage underneath it. So this this project initially, um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna send a uh, a photo up right now. Uh, you'll see the initial sketches of this project. This was a much bigger island. I think it was initially 14 to 15 feet. And initially on the left hand side, they wanted to have an archway built to store wood. Um, there is also another component in the initial drawing that had a, another storage device, I think a triple drawer storage device uh, on it. So they changed things. I think that there was um, a concern about space on the patio area. It's near their pool. So things got condensed down to 10 and a half feet and they just said, okay, what are the most important things to us? And um, they wanted the grill, right? They wanted the gas grill for the convenience. They, they liked the Lynx brand. And for the husband, it was all about that Primo grill, which is my personal favorite ceramic grill. This, the reason I, I brought up that island in Scarsdale, why this is so, you know, it's similar to it. And I think that the folks probably did look at it. I think I did send them the, uh, the images from the gallery initially um, because they, uh, first of all, they use, if you look visually, they use the flat white stucco finish for the veneer, which was done on that Scarsdale job. And they also opted to do, uh, to use a uh, black granite countertop like the Scarsdale job. So aesthetically, they're, they're similar. Um, there's also the inclusion of the Primo. And, you know, on both kitchens, uh, there was, the husband wanted to, to cook, both husbands wanted to cook with live fire. Definitely aesthetic uh, similarities between these islands that are that are where I mean they were they were definitely inspired by the first one. There's no there's no you know two ways about it. Um, I think that when I look at this island, um, the pros are again the aesthetics. I love the dark countertop. I mean they may have some issues with the southern sun in the afternoon on there. I mean it's because they don't have a pergola or any other type of covering. So that's gonna get hot, um, but the black granite with the white flat stucco, and I mean, I need to talk about stucco because nobody was doing this for like 10 years. I mean, it was the most popular uh, veneer facing for, for quite a while, and then it just like disappeared. This is not the stucco with the ripples in it that you think like, you know, 1987, okay? This is, um, which is actually a pretty good year, um, but, uh, this is flat white. Um, it looks fantastic. It's a very clean look, 
especially when coupled with the black countertop. Okay, so the aesthetics work and then the inclusion of the Primo, I mean, for 10 and a half feet, this guy and gal can pretty much cook whatever they want in whatever style. You want the convenience of gas, bang, you've got the links. You want to hit the rotisserie, you've got the links. Oh, you've got a rotisserie on the Primo as well. You want to smoke a Texan brisket for, you know, 18 hours, hit the Primo. So in a somewhat condensed space, they can do whatever they want from a cooking standpoint, and that's awesome. Um, you will notice that uh, there are a few things that are not in this island. Um, they don't have refrigeration, and the decision there was just, again, it was size, and because the regular kitchen, the indoor kitchen, was so close, they did not believe that they wanted to allot the 24 inches or the 15 inches on a small one to refrigeration. They've got that indoors. They're all good to go. Um, they have storage. Um, they've got it under the Primo for the Primo's tools. They've got the two drawers under the links. I think it's okay. Um, I probably would have liked to have seen more storage, but they're they're comfortable with it. Um, the if you want to say what I would change about this island, um, I just think that uh, because of this southern, I mean, I love the way the black countertop looks, but with the southern exposure, it's going to get hot. I may have re you know rethought that aspect of it, but. Um, I just would have made this a little bit larger because it's um, somewhat cramped in terms of countertop space. I mean, they've only got the uh, the area um, to the left between um, the uh, basically to the left of the of the links of the links grill to the end of that countertop where the trash draw is. It's not a lot of room. So um, and obviously the other side's got the Primo. There's nothing going on on that side. So. It's 10 and a half feet. If they could have bought like another two feet, a foot, and a, fair, a foot and a half to two feet, there would have been like what I would consider ample countertop space then. So um, again, Lynx, Primo, best in class products. We sell them, we ship them all over the place. We've got them on display. If you have any questions about this build out, if you have any questions about these products, you can hit me up personally at that email address below or call us at 914-361-1837. Uh, Thank you very much, and I will uh, talk to you later. Thanks, folks.